In 1985, Nebraska had just one ethanol plant. Today, 25 ethanol plants help make Nebraska the second largest ethanol producing state in the nation. New technology developed by Green Yug can convert ethanol into a higher value chemical known as ethyl acetate. Ethyl acetate can be used in products such as paints and coatings. Last fall, it was announced that Prairie Catalytic, a subsidiary of Green Yug, would be built in Columbus, Nebraska near the Archer Daniel Midland Ethanol Production Facility. Prairie Catalytic will be Green Yug's first commercial production facility producing ethyl acetate. We recently talked with Tim Ott, general manager of Prairie Catalytic, to learn more about this company. So the uh, parent company is Green Yug. They're a research company that was formed a little over 10 years ago out of, out of Santa Barbara, California. Uh, they are a research company that start researching the technology to catalysis uh, convert ethanol into a bunch of value-added chemicals such as ethyl acetate. According to USDA Rural Development, Prairie Catalytic is planned to produce about 50,000 metric tons of ethyl acetate per year. Ethyl acetate is an ester of ethanol and acidic acid that contains a global market worth $4 billion. This colorless liquid is used in products such as food, packaging, industrial solvents, adhesives, pharmaceuticals, printing ink, cosmetics, paint, and coatings. It is a commodity in the chemicals market and 50% of the industry is the paints and coatings industry. It's a uh, non-toxic solvent used a lot in the paints and coatings. But you also see it in fingernail polishes and you see it in uh, some of the uh, adhesives and some of the industry like that. Being placed in Columbus, Nebraska near the Archer Daniel Midlands Ethanol Production Facility, Prairie Catalytic has the opportunity to produce ethyl acetate by using feedstock that comes from Archer Daniel Midland's wet corn mill. You take ethanol and you use catalysis, which is a reaction process, and you actually crack that ethanol. You generate uh, hydrogen is one of the byproducts, and then ethyl acetate. Uh, the key to the uh, technology is the conversion rates. If we can exceed 85% conversion rates, 85% of the ethanol to ethyl acetate, then that's the uh, commercially viable target that we were shooting for. We further discussed with Tim about how ethanol is becoming the new naphtha. Uh, naphtha is a precursor to gasoline in the petroleum industry. Uh, it was actually used as a fuel back in the 40s, uh, but during the development of petroleum industry, NAFTA became the precursor to many of the chemicals that you know today, such as plastics and some of the solvents and paints and things of that nature. So the idea behind uh, uh, our technology is to use ethanol as the uh, renewable fuels NAFTA, essentially. When compared to naphtha, it is clear that ethanol is the better candidate when creating specialty chemicals. Naphtha versus ethanol as the precursor to many uh, chemicals. So ethyl acetate is just one of the different chemicals that coming out of the petroleum industry's precursors. Ethanol is an excellent precursor because it's a single chemical. It's, it's, naphtha is actually a blend. It's, a, it's the... Um, a lighter blend version of crude, so it's one of the lighter blend uh, cuts in the crude industry. Ethanol, on the other hand, is a, a very clean precursor. So with that, you don't end up with a bunch of byproducts on your offstream, and it saves you a ton of money because you don't have to use so many processes to clean up your final product.